So if you like using files as much as possible, maybe the installer file, the installer.php feels weird to you, uh, you don't like it, you wanna copy and paste or drop or clone a config bootstrap, um, so you don't wanna have to be bringing that installer back and running it, you don't need to do that at all. So I'll walk you through the few things that it does automatically or you know, through the step-by-step -step wizard. We'll just do them by hand. I've rolled back the site to a fresh install, so I've just unzipped Statomic for you. There's no need to watch me do that again, and I'll just step through the few things it does. Uh, here we go. So we've got the folder. It checks your permission. So we're just gonna do, um, we're gonna set the permissions to 777 on Statomic site assets and local. So we've done that, check. Number two, it uh, sets your license key. If you don't set it, nothing happens. So we don't even need to do that. We are in develop mode. Step number three, it creates a user. So let's do this. Or I think three is actually the settings, right? If you don't set them, the defaults actually just work. So we won't do that. Uh, we're gonna create a user to get into the control panel. But if you don't need that, guess what? You're already done. So that's basically all it does. Uh, but here's how you make a user via the command line. Come down here, make user. PHP, please make user. Username, call it Jack. Password, ooh, look at that, it is hidden. Email address. Super user, yes please. And here we go. Let's go to the admin. Sorry, control panel. Ta-da, that's it, it works nice and quick. So at this point you would come here and do please clear site and there you go. We've now saved uh, at least two minutes.